Okay, let's play a little with PDI Fractures. Uh, start by creating a wall, a large thin box, and open shaded window, set number of shards to 500, and shard it. It's done. Select it and turn the color back to gray. Uh, let's check the fragment. Okay, the fragment are there and set some dynamics uh, on in volumes for the wall and the ground set it as auto passive so it doesn't move uh, and let's compute dynamics as a simple rigid bodies no fracture involved you can see uh, all fragments fall at once uh, quite fast okay it's not bad but with uh, it fracture we can do much better reset this and open basic fracture window select the wall and the ground click on create click on ok and our fracture body is created switch on stressor view and let decrease rasterize parameter uh, this is the same as uh, making the object uh, less brittle. Ungroup this and now uh, open advanced fractures. And we are going to detach part of the wall as a different fracture object. Select the area we want and click on detach. Okay, it's done. And now we have here two fracture bodies. Set harness for this one uh, to zero for making it very brittle, and uh, let the other with a height harness. So we have uh, two different uh, breaking areas in the same world. Let's compute dynamics again to see how it's behaved. Okay, it uh, start to break. And now you can see the area, the top area is breaking while the uh, the other uh, area is standing. You cannot get this effect with a simple rigid body solver. You need a fracture solver like pulled on it. Okay, it's on. Let uh, play the keys. Okay, nice. You can see it is much more realistic than before. Uh, let's check the other side. Okay, nice. And we can uh, play with this as much as we like. For example, now let's uh, invert the effect by making the top object uh, harder than the uh, uh, object uh, below. So set uh, hardness uh, very low for the base object and ha an and increase it for the top object and compute again to see how we have invert the uh, result in dynamics. Now the base object is breaking while the other stand although you can see how it is uh, still uh, fracturing when uh, hitting uh, the fragments below. Let's play Let's uh, resume and compute a little more. And uh, let's play the keys to see, you see how the behavior now is completely the opposite.
Ok. And, uh, you can do, uh, you can play as much as, as you like. Uh, for instance, now delete all of this. We are going to create a hole in in the wall with the same set, just tweaking fracture parameter. Create the fracture body again and uh, decrease clusterize parameter. And now uh, we are going to uh, select a circle in the center of the of the wall. Ah, I, I forgot. Uh, we have to to open um, advanced fractures here now. It's working. Okay. It uh, are uh, light blue. Uh, click on the touch. Now we have uh, two rigid bo two fracture bodies here, and decrease hardness for the center object, and let the other with uh, default hardness and let play dynamics again to see if uh, our hole in the wall is created okay you can see how the wall is now breaking just in the center area Let's stop this and play dynamics, play keys. Okay, you can see the hole in the middle. 